Hey, Mike Bertelson, Cowboy Cauldron Company, and today I'm going to show you what happens when the dude shows up at your house. So, this is what it looked like when it showed up at my house. That comes off. The next thing you're going to see is the grill. Pretty self-explanatory. Below that, you're going to see the top cap. These two, I call them earmuffs, but they're the things that attach the handles onto the basin itself. Then you're going to see the hanging chain. I love these hanging chains. These things are cool. Then you're going to see the charcoal grate, which you will use some of the time and some of the time you won't. And then the big win after all that stuff is out is the basin itself. At 35 pounds, it's easy to move, but it's still mighty burly. <coughs> Underneath the basin are the legs and your cover. Probably the only tricky part about setting up a cauldron is this part. And when you first get it, you're gonna notice that the handle needs to go like this. And so, you put one side on, drop the other one over. If it's a little hard, which it may be, here's the trick. Do this. It makes it super easy. These screw right on the corner. That holds everything firmly in place. Then the next thing we do, obviously, is we put together the frame. And this, friends and neighbors, is not hard. After the horrifically complicated task of assembling the frame, the next tricky part is hanging the chain and presto, you're in cauldron country. The next thing is the charcoal grate. Now, the charcoal grate is super burly and it's never gonna ever have a problem with the heat that a cauldron will generate but really the notion of this thing is to raise the heat of charcoal briquettes up high enough for them to work if you're burning with wood you don't need this piece at all <sighs> lastly the grill pretty self-explanatory so basically and in a nutshell that's it the dudes is pretty simple like every cowboy cauldron they're pretty simple, but they're super cool. You're gonna love it. We're really proud of it. Enjoy.